Hey, this is Alawa. Welcome to a new tutorial to Platoon version 2.0 and let's talk about uh, instances of Platoon on one layer. So first this is what we will create. And so let's jump in. First make a new composition. Composition, new composition, make it HD. Uh, 1920 1080 25 frames but it's up to you and duration something around eight seconds should be fine hit ok then type in some text you can do also with a layer with a logo or footage whatever make sure that you if you drop that into uh, your comp that you uh, will uh, first of all I'm just gonna let that, that you pre-compose this uh, to get the whole workspace uh, as influence area okay so we will do this with a text layer just to keep it simple here we go I type in platoon and we scale it up so and as always let me first align that center center and as always I go to my platoon drop that onto my footage I have it texturized I use some kind of, uh, uh, let's give him first a texture, so let's give him some topical, yeah, the wrong way, topical, and let's say, let's give him some, yeah, bluish style, that should make it fine. So we leave this instant as it is, and drop in another instance, and uh, so it doesn't matter which texture you take, course uh, oh let's take some grunge sorry for that uh, here we go grunge 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 uh, this one here and blend this to zero so I can see the other texture the old texture around here okay so um, that's fine so far go to this place make it active bring it to 100% go to your transform settings under this place direction center something around here bring the distance end up uh, sorry not the size but the end something like so and change from pattern to turbulence but uh, let's try this with patterns so right now this is what we have okay so um, the next is uh, normally you go to your uh, turbulence influence may you have the uh, first version of platoon 2.0 so just play around with the settings uh, or leave it leave them as they are so I just want to give you an idea what to do with an instance so put in another instance string on a keyboard to make a copy and now choose the displace progress not from pattern but from turbulence and you will see you get these uh, organic wave lines here inside of that so go to your turbulence layer and uh, first of all bring the auto animation speed down to something like eight should make it fine and then play with the uh, frequency so you see this could be give you some randomness and some uh, waves here. Maybe you will play with the modulation. That looks quite cool. And uh, yeah, that's what it is so far. So right now, if you're going to animate that, um, you have do do you have to do one one more thing? You have to connect the both overlay um, offset parameters together as one and you has, have to link the overlay um, displays in case um, you go this way. Let's do it another way which is uh, I think quite better so let me animate this one so I go to overlay so I don't have to link anything I can work with that so let's go to the um, displace overlay, make it left right, bring the center to here and now this is the effect. So everything is shooting around, 
okay so I put the overlay strength stopwatch here I want to have that over four seconds Let's bring this over okay so this is our animation hit U on the keyboard to see the keyframes let's say we go to uh, the animate alpha simply check that and you will have a fading so it dissolves it bursts away and now let's talk about the details of this uh, uh, pixels here so now with everything set up we make a copy string D on the keyboard and now we choose the displays displays instance from turbulence right now so this is what we have now now you see you get some organic waving going on there and because this is animated by 50% um, auto animation speed we go to our uh, turbulence and bring the auto speed down to 8 and bring the frequency up something around this that's cool and modulation a bit up nice so have a look now you have this organic waves shooting through your footage and of course you can push this further you can make another instance string D on the keyboard and uh, if you go forward this is what you have so far and let's say we'd like to have as a turbulence um, a scene on top of that and bring the scaling a bit down and the modulation a bit down or let's try something very weird let's try fields now you see these little fragments here push this a bit more so now that looks cool and this is what we have now you see that breaks apart shadows away and goes in pieces so feel free to combine that you have to keep one thing in mind is the pixel size as you see with any instance with any instance sorry here we go we lose pixel information so this is the original footage this is the first instance everything's fine this is the second one everything is a bit bigger as you see here because we're adding those pixels and if we get to the last one everything is much more bigger so you can control this by playing around with the pixel sizes for example on the first pix on the first uh, uh, instance of platoon you go to size start and say comma 2 that gives you a bit better result then you go to instance number two and give him a pixel start size of let's say comma five and you're really close and you go to the last instance and say pixel size at start comma eight and you're ready to go and uh, let's preview that here we go and in real time very nice so feel free to combine platoon on one layer in more than one instance and of course if you'd like to change uh, the color of that on the first instance it's simply swapping the color that's not the best example this one here for example and you're done so hope you enjoy that see you next time bye